AME Church, where we are making men and women who reflect the life and love of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Baber African Methodist Episcopal Church. Welcome to our annual Lay Day. Here are this week's announcements. This week, Baber pauses to salute our veterans. We thank you for the sacrifices made on our behalf. We thank you for your willingness to put your life on the line. We thank you for your readiness to fight for our freedoms. On behalf of a grateful people, thank you. Donna Whitney once stated, there simply is no healthy Christian life apart from a diet of the milk and meat of the scripture. The Bible is indispensable to a Christian. Come learn the word and mature in Christ with Pastor Simmons and Reverend Wynn each Wednesday at 12 noon and 7 p.m. on Zoom. Our Zoom ID is 878-654-7704. We hope to see you there. Now a word from the lay organization. Good morning, Baber and friends. Today is the Baber Lay Organization Annual Day, and we thank Pastor Simmons for this opportunity to say a word about the lay organization. As defined by our Constitution, the purpose of the lay organization is to organize and train the laity of the African Methodist Episcopal Church so that laypersons may maximally utilize their God-given abilities and skills to improve and extend the kingdom to create happiness, peace, and harmony among its members. The lay organization is fundamentally a teaching and training organization. Teaching is the art of or practice of imparting knowledge, a reinforcement of concepts, into systematic learning. Training refers to the act of instructing to develop specific skills in a person to improve one's capability, capacity, productivity, and performance. The Connectional Church mandates that every AME church have an active local lay organization. So who are the laity? As you know, the constituency of the AME church is made up of clergy persons and lay people. Clergy persons are people ordained for religious duties or religious service. Laity are ordinary, non-ordained people distinct from clergy. The organized laity refers to that group of lay people in the church who meet on a regular basis to accomplish the mission of the connectional lay organization and who sponsor church-wide activities such as studying the history and organizational structure of the Amy Church, learning new skills like how to conduct a meeting, how to be an effective leader, or how to prepare a budget, and more. The lay organization started out as an movement of ordinary lay people who desired increased responsibilities and leadership opportunities in the local church and in the various levels of the connectional church. Further, this lay movement would lead to the laity taking on an active role in decision making regarding church policy while the decisions are still under consideration rather than debating them after they have been made or almost enacted into law. As an organized, informed, and trained constituency, we make our point of view known on all important issues facing the Amy Church and welcome every opportunity to work with clergy. Membership in the lay organization is open to all non-ordained lay people, and you don't have to be an officer in the church to join. The Baber Lay Organization meets on the third Saturday of the month on Zoom for now, and we hope to meet in person uh, in the near future. For more information or to request a follow-up contact by the lay organization, please call the Baber Church office at area code 585-461-1395 or email your request or specific questions to the attention of the lay organization at office at baberrochester.org. Thank you for listening and we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you, Brother Davis. We are also excited to welcome our Lay Day speaker, Dr. Deanna Burt Nana. Dr. Burt Nana is the president of Monroe Community College. She received her bachelor's, master of business administration, and PhD from Western Michigan University. Prior to her appointment to MCC, she served in numerous roles in the Minnesota State Colleges and University Systems, such as Vice President of Student and Academic Affairs, Chief Academic Officer, Provost, and Dean of Computer Information Systems and Technology. In May of 2021, she officially assumed her role as the sixth president of MCC. Come on, Baber, let's welcome Dr. Deanna Burt Nana. Just a few reminders. We're still in a pandemic, so if you're sick, please watch service from the comfort of your own home online. 
Masks must be worn that cover the mouth and nose the entire service, and ushers will dismiss us at the end of service. Parents are invited to take their children to the lower level for Children's Church at Offering. Now, let's continue in worship. <music> 